In a coloured base in banging blue, we're going to begin by stenciling out our outline shape of our cut crease. Just like anything, if you wanted a drawing to be perfect, you'd start with pencil and then go in with pen once you are satisfied. This is what we are doing, but instead with shadow. So we're now going in with our deeper shadow and following the shape that we have just previously created. Taking advantage of that base, we are building up the perfect ombre blend before carving out again our desired shape. So we are using this as a stencil outline before colouring in the rest of the lid space. Now remember, this technique is amazing if you have a shaky hand or even if you're just not that confident with a cut crease because you can see the invisible line that you need to follow. Before taking your product for the lid, it's essential that you apply product to the front and back of the brush. If you apply a coat to one side, you'll find that it drags instead of smoothly gliding across the eye space. Now make that brush work for you. By coating the product on both sides, you're going to use a stamping effect where you're relying on the shape of the tip of the brush to do all the hard work for you. The curve of the brush will give you the perfect finish. We always recommend going in with a pressing motion rather than a dragging motion as any spare skin can pull and sling back causing ridges and we want that crisp finish. Remember to take a blending brush and blur out your inner and outer corner to prevent any harsh lines. 